All right, it's Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna to cook up uh, spaghetti squash. Look how small, look how small this squash is. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook this up for a light lunch. You know, super simple dish today, super simple. Super simple, super healthy, no muss, no fuss, not a lot of ingredients, but a lot of flavor. So stick around. Whenever I see a cute little spaghetti squash like this one, I just wanna cut it in half. I learned this from Camera Girl. Put a little divot in there, kind of to get you started, and then boom, that's all there is to it. But the first thing I'm gonna do is dig out these guts. And you just get you a spoon, work it around in there, and it's really, it's like the inside of a pumpkin. You know, there's just seeds and some cobwebby looking insides there. And it'll come right out. And you don't have to be manic. You know, it, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, getting all this stuff out of there. Because you could eat all that. It doesn't really matter. You could toast up these seeds if you wanted to. I ain't got that kind of ambition. So, boom. You just dig your guts out of there. And then I got me a little flat bottom pan that I'm gonna bake them in. A Little bit of water, cover my bottom of my pan up. You know, it's just like, you know, not even a quarter of an inch. Take my spaghetti squash halves, lay them down just like that, boom, and then we'll just put them in the oven. I'm gonna slide them in here, right on the center rack. Got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Boom, boom. So we'll take a look at it, we'll flip it over, and you want to be careful handling these things because it's hot right out of the oven. You know, the water's really hot. There's going to be uh, steam trapped under here. Now this looks like it's done. Enough for me, because I'm going to go ahead and saute it just a little bit more uh, with some garlic, a little bit of butter and oil. Go ahead and test it here, and you can see the fork goes easily into the flesh down here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this for about uh, 10 minutes and let it cool off before I handle it anymore. Alrighty, it's been about 10 minutes and they're still kind of hot, but I think I'm I think I'm macho enough to handle it. Uh, what we're going to do now is take a fork and just slide it into the side of the uh, spaghetti squash and just give it a twist. Boom, boom, boom. And then your uh, spaghetti squash strings come right out. Give it a twist. It comes right out. And these nice uh, these nice pasta like strands. And once you've forked out all the nice long strings, you can just get you a spoon and go ahead and dig all around the rind and get as much of the flesh out as you can because you don't want to waste it. And the closer you get to the edge and spooning it out like this, it's not going to come out in those uh, nice strings, but they'll still be short pieces. I think I did a pretty good job cleaning that out. And even though it was a dinky do size, you know, we still got a lot of meat. We still got a lot of flesh out of the spaghetti squash. So this is still going to be a pretty good sized dish. And uh, these nice strands, you know, I didn't overcook it. That's the key uh, with spaghetti squash. You don't want to overcook it. So you hear that? It's still got a nice crunch. Although it's cooked, it's done. But, uh, you know, you don't want it to be mushy. All right, now the rest of my dish is gonna be super simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat a skillet, boom, on medium heat. Throw a little bit of coconut oil in there, but you can use whatever kind of oil you like. Once my oil's heated up, I'm gonna add in a bunch of garlic. You know, if, any, if you watched any of my videos, you know I'm kind of a garlic freak. So you can definitely use less garlic than this if you want to. But there aren't gonna be a lot of ingredients in this dish. So the more garlic, the better, because spaghetti squash, by itself doesn't have a lot of flavor which is why it's a great ingredient you know because you can use it in all kinds of dishes and it'll take on the uh whatever flavors you add to it so i'm going to go ahead and uh, give this a minute or two to color up let these flavors come out a little bit of this garlic i'm going to throw just a little bit of butter in here for a little added flavor and my garlic's starting to color up so i'm going to go ahead and slide in my spaghetti squash Alrighty, man, it smells fantastic just with those few ingredients right there. Now I'm going to put some lemon juice in here, but I've already zested the lemon. So this is what this is, just a little bit of lemon zest. I'm going to add some uh, black pepper. 
if you want it to really add some heat, you could add some uh, red pepper flakes or some chili powder if you want. But I'm just going to keep it simple. A little bit of salt. I'm going to throw in the juice of one half a lemon. And I'm going to turn the heat off. You know, because the uh, spaghetti squash is already cooked. You know, we colored up our uh, garlic. Got that flavor going. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit. Nice, dark, extra virgin olive oil. And that's really about it. And it's a tad bit on the yellow side. But we can fix that, boom, with a bunch of chopped parsley. And that's really all there is to this dish, you know? Just give it a taste test, you know, adjust the flavors as you need to, you know, put in a little more salt and pepper if you like. Put in a little more lemon juice. You know, if you wanted to, you could uh, mix in a little uh, freshly grated Parmesan cheese. But I'm just going to keep it simple. Well, that's all there is to it. You know, a nice little snack lunch. This will be the uh, spaghetti squash cam. Dun, dun, dun. Doesn't this look like pasta? Doesn't taste like pasta, though. Tastes like vegetables. But not the bad vegetables. But, uh, you know, give this recipe a try. I'll have it uh, written down below or you can print it out at uh, myfoodchannel.com. You can print all our recipes there. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, giving it a thumbs up and sharing it and being a good citizen of the internet. And uh, we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.